The land transplant program at UT Southwestern has been in place since 1992. We have extensive experience with uh, patient volume. We've transplanted uh, over 650 patients. We have excellent outcomes. We have many, many long-term survivors. We have a 25-year survivor. Transplant can be very scary. It's a process that's a very big process. Here at UT Southwestern, we hope our patients come in with confidence that we are the best. The patients have their first visit and they have their testing on their first visit. The doctor makes a decision and we start the evaluation process. As we move forward with the evaluation, we have nutritionists see the patient. We have a social worker that works with them. Family is almost always the key support system and they're as involved, if not more so, than the patient themselves. And then it goes to a transplant selection committee. We do an in-depth evaluation of all of their comorbid illnesses and uh, how they impact not just the surgical aspects of transplant, but their medical follow-up following transplantation. When appropriate, we will do combined heart-lung, lung-kidney, lung-liver transplants. If everything is okay, then the patient is approved. If they're approved, they're then listed for transplant and they go on the wait list. Our average time on the wait list right now is about three to three and a half months. By the time a donor is identified, there's about a four to six hour window of safety to implant them in a safe, expeditious fashion. The ex vivo machine is a device that ventilates the lung and perfuses the lung for organs that may be marginal on initial evaluation but have the potential to be improved. Once the person is transplanted, I am their primary care coordinator for the rest of their life. They know that they're not alone in this. We're walking with them every step. A lot of the patients who require a lung transplantation also have other medical conditions. And we can offer the full range of transplant and non-transplant options. We are going to refer the patients to the pulmonary hypertension clinic. The patients who have cystic fibrosis, we are going to refer to the CF Foundation certified clinic. Despite the improvements in care for cystic fibrosis, we still have a number of our patients that need a lung transplant at some point in their life. Once a patient undergoes a lung transplant, their cystic fibrosis in their lungs is now resolved. However, the rest of their body is still impacted, which is what involves our teams to continue to need to work together. The physicians at UT Southwestern doing lung transplantation are committed, and that's their passion and when you meet them, you feel it. Everybody feels the urgency of it. I think everybody is on their A game all the time because everybody knows what's at stake. To see a lung that is implanted and to see all the individual alveolar air sacs in that lung expand and fill, that's a very gratifying experience to see because you know that patient's gonna benefit. It's so rewarding to see patients before and after transplant and the difference it makes in their lives is priceless. When patients come to UT Southwestern, they are going to feel that they are part of a family. We have built new hospitals where we have state-of-the-art technology and the physicians, the nurses, everybody is here to help you.